So I've been living in this 2012 Acura RDX for almost two weeks now, car camping across the US Northwest. So we're gonna do this tour starting on the driver's side, then move around to the front passenger, to the back passenger, to the rear, and then back around to the back driver's side after we fold up the bed. So the driver's side and the door, I keep, you know, some extra drinks, napkins, a bag or two, an umbrella. I have this little pocket here that so far I've just been putting receipts and camera batteries that I need to charge. And also rubber gloves, cause you never know when you're gonna need a rubber glove. Right here is where I keep the sunshades for the front window, which I took down for light. But these are great, they're pop-up shades and I love them actually. And then here I've got my phone clamp, I've got my Garmin, and I've got the clamp for the GoPro. Oh, above me, I have this fantastic screen. This is a must have if you have a sunroof and you're sleeping in your car. I got it from Amazon and it's got magnets around the side and you just put it up and it keeps the bugs out. In the middle here, I keep some hand sanitizer. My change is in there. I have this little plant. I know it's stupid, but it makes it look more homey. I do often end up moving it for a second drink. And then this is my water bottle. It actually has a filter inside. It's a Berkey water bottle. I could dip this thing in a creek and drink out of it safely. Stuck in here, I've got a paper atlas from a zillion years ago. I like paper. And then the center console is really useful. It's super deep. And inside right now, I've got a journal and extra batteries. And then I also typically put my little white basket in here during the day, which you'll see in a minute because it's in bed mode. I've got a couple little purses, a butt bag here, and then um, this bag here has all my GoPro stuff. And this is pretty insulated, so even when the car gets hot, this stuff stays cool, so it's a good safe place for your lipsticks if you're a lady. All right, on the passenger side, um, I try to keep things clean. These blankets are great. This one is great for draping over the igloo and the stuff to keep the car looking clean and neat, like there's nothing going on inside. It also helps insulate the igloo because sometimes it gets really hot in the car if I'm parked somewhere. This igloo is great, except that it doesn't have a drain hole, so I have to like deal with the ice by pouring it out the top when it melts, so that part's a pain. But otherwise, I love it. Things stay cold. This is like a little cheap $6 mat I got from Walmart, and you unfold it, basically, and you can put it down by the door here if you're staying someplace for a while and you want a place to wipe your feet. I got these two two and a half gallon water jugs off Amazon. They're great. They just fit nicely in the space. I emptied one almost just yesterday, so I've been pretty conservative on my water. This here is a day pack. And then this little corner here, so this scarf is great. I keep it around for when I need to be shaded when I'm driving because the sun is so intense. This is actually a snack bag, you know, where I just keep some random snacks that I can get out really quickly while I'm driving. But actually, it's often where I end up resting the cannon so that if I need to stop and pull it out quickly, it's right there and it's all padded and nice and safe. This is a little bag that I got for some random stuff that I can just kind of move around. Trash compactor bags. I use those to bag the ice so that when it melts, it doesn't make a pool of water all over the bottom of the igloo and get everything wet, which has happened a couple times. It works pretty well until this gets a hole in it. This is not the best spot for it, but it's near the, the whole ice operation area. So that's where they are for now. And this is just um, some extra water I keep handy for when I just need some quick extra water if I'm out of that or I need to pour it or whatever for dishes. I have the glove box. Uh, it doesn't open all the way because of these water bottles, but that's okay. It's enough room to get the owner's manual out. And I have some make the car smell good stuff and some more hand sanitizer, some hand wipes and tire pressure check and I don't know, wine opener and some other important things. And these are solar powered security lights. So they solar power during the day, right there on the sun visor. And then at night I can clamp them to whatever. So I could clamp them to here and then you turn it on. And in the doorway here, this is where I keep all my extra bags. This little handy dandy thing I got off of Amazon. This was incredibly useful for cleaning off a 
dirty sandy picnic table yesterday. And then in here I have a pocket. I've just got some locks and little mementos. All right, and that is the front section. Moving on to the back. My sandals I put behind the seat. My hiking and street shoes I put in here in this area. I keep the trash in the middle here where I can reach it and I usually keep it knotted so that you know the smells don't become a factor but anything smelly usually goes into its own bag that's my computer bag hidden in there for travel the Jackery fits back in here it has a case and it fits back here on the floor and the computer bag goes on top but what I'm finding is that I don't often want to pack the Jackery so it usually sits here when I'm driving and I I put the seatbelt on and my little Jackery. I love this thing. I start talking to it and it's like my little child in the back that gives me power. I love it. My intent with this setup was to keep this seat free so that I could always have a, a good place to sit that's not the front seat where I could more easily change clothes, put on shoes, all of that. But the Jackery has been kind of an issue with that. I can hoist the Jackery onto this middle section here between the two front seats, but it's heavy and I don't like doing it. And then I can't flip open that storage container. So I don't know, maybe if I'd have gotten a smaller Jackery, it'd be easier to put on the floor and actually be able to plug things in while it's on the floor. That would be ideal. But this is just so fat that you, you just really can't plug things in. So right now the car is in sleep mode. And so I'll show you the the other mode uh, in a minute, but I have this really thick four inch trifold mattress. It's memory foam. I got it off of Amazon. I think it's around a hundred bucks. It was so worth the money. Um, got my little fuzzy down pillow. This is actually a fuzzy duvet with a uh, down comforter inside. I've only had to only get underneath it like once or twice this whole time because it's been pretty hot. And then this little throw blanket is often what I end up sleeping underneath. I have these two pillows. The one on the left is just some random decorative pillow that I stuff in the cracks there so I don't fall in. That gold one actually has my sleeping bag in it. So that was a little hack I got from somebody on YouTube. By the way, this blanket is also useful for covering the Jackery uh, and insulating it during the day. So if I have to leave the car for a while, it does a great job of keeping it cool. In fact, all these blankets that I have, like this picnic blanket I just picked up, it's a great picnic blanket for the beach or the grass or whatever, but it also makes a really good padded seat. So if you have to sit on a hard rock or sit on a hard bench actually this is a very nice cushion and these blankets are great for covering things that need to be covered this is a cluttered tiny space and so keeping things all the same basic colors feels less cluttery but with the pop of color it gives it the little homey touch okay so here's the bunny bag i keep it right there and it's got little things in it like i've got my off which is a must have i have the small can just for convenience you know and some tissues and chapstick and a pee rag <laughs> you backpackers know and uh you know hand sanitizer just a couple random things so in the back here on my shelf i have this pile of hats i wear a lot of hats i need protection from the sun okay this is silly it's just some little plant i picked up at target it's fake but it just makes the car seem a little bit homier and that's important to me this little basket i love i got it off amazon and i keep the little things i need during the night in it, you know, a nail file and a toothpicky thingy, flashlight, a little safety alarm, some essential oils, my vitamins, and this candle usually goes in there. It's, oh my God, I love this. Oh shoot, I just spilled that. Love this candle. It's like, what is it? Tobacco and honey? Oh my God, it smells so good. I mean, I don't even have to burn it for it to smell good and freshen up the car. And then I picked up this little dish. I think it was in Bend. I just got this because I've always wanted one of these little dishes. I think they're so cute. And it's a great place for my ear plugs if I need to grab them and just whatever earrings I want to plop in there for the night. My fan, I have talked about a zillion times. It's a USB fan. It's got these um, gorilla legs. I don't know what you call them. Love this thing. Like number one purchase if you're going to live in your car is you've got to get a usb fan for comfort and then i have the little fairy lights and i can unfurl them and hang them around the car but i often don't 
just because it's easier to just plop them there. They're battery powered. And then of course some wipes. It's mine. This is my shower right there. <laughs> so when I'm in the car, it's very easy for me to sit right there and grab this latch and pull it down. This is how I access my closet. And this right here is my closet. I have a <laughs> capsule wardrobe in here. On the top, I've got my swimsuit, undies, and socks. And then here, I've got my clothing. And this top section is pretty much the clothing I brought with me. And then here, I've got some pajamas that can double as clothes. This is my towel, which I haven't used yet. It's like a camping towel. And then I've got some makeup and stuff in there. And then this bag here, is my dirty laundry, which is starting to pile up. But soon I will have the opportunity to wash it. And that's it. Those are my clothes. There is actually a little bit of storage underneath this platform in the very back. And so this is my Z-Rest. I also have a tent, a two-person backpacking tent, and a Thermarest um, blow-up mattress. And they're all kind of just hidden under this part of the bed. And it's just too hard to bring them out. So I'm not gonna do that. All right, boom. And I had to move the jackery for that. And that is my problem with the jackery is that I can't just, I would really ideally love to have the jackery fit in here and still be able to plug things in. So I don't know if the jackery 500 would be smaller and would work if it's thinner, or maybe I should be looking at a goal zero or some other brand, but I don't know because I actually, I love this jackery. I just love it. You know, I think it's just not ideal for my car. So this door here, I keep my little window screens. So I just pull them off. They were on the windows a minute ago. They get stuffed in this bag here. Also my sunroof screen, whatever you call it. It also goes in a bag that gets shoved right in here. And then this is a really handy big old shopping bag. That's great for groceries or going to the beach or the laundry or whatever. Okay, I believe that's it for the inside of the car. If I miss something, ask a question in the comments below. I'll show it to you too after I folded it up for my drive mode. The back of the car. Okay, I have this totally not necessary sheepskin and I love it for several reasons. One, you can put it on the chair over there and make it look really luxurious and Instagrammy perfect and it feels good to sit on. The other thing is that it hides the reflectix to some extent. So when I'm in drive mode, you know, all the reflectix, they go back here. And anyone looking at my back window is, you know, who knows, car life is gonna look in and say, oh, this person's living in their car, let's break in and steal stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to be as stealth as possible just because I want it to look like there's nothing going on in my car of interest. So this thing splashed across the back is just really good, I think, at minimizing the, the reflectix here. And I'll take all this off uh, in a minute and show you coffee mode because um, I basically turned this into a, a workspace. So this is my the back of my bed that you saw earlier. I did a whole video about how I made it. Uh, it's basically a platform cut to size by a friend of mine on a shoe rack that I ordered from Amazon. There's the top of the rack right there. In the back corner here are some nice storage spaces. That was my USB lighting kit in case I needed to be well lit for some reason. It's it's uh, small and collapsible and I haven't used it yet. So I don't know, maybe that has to go. This plastic bags here, these are extra butane bottles. They're just all tightly wrapped in plastic so that they don't kill me with their carbon monoxide poisoning. This is some extra uh, of that Scotch spray adhesive that I'll use to repair the Reflectix. Okay, so these are my two camp chairs. One of them is out over there holding my hat for now. I just bought that hat. It's new, it's big. It doesn't look as pretty in the car as these do. I'm usually wearing it anyway, but I digress. The two camp chairs go here. They're from the 90s. Like, you know, if somebody stole them, I'd be like, oh, thank God somebody stole them. I can get something new. The table, when it's all folded up, goes right here, the little table I just showed you over there. This is my little tiny Amazon tripod. It's kind of flimsy. I, I like it. It's great for backpacking because it only weighs like a pound or 1.1 pounds, but I think I need a better one. And I do have some more room here to put a better one. And then I put my two little rugs here, my fancy rugs. This right here, this is road recovery traction thingies. I actually bought it for the snow because I live in snow country and I saw too many people who would just go too 
far to the side of the road and they'd be trapped and I thought that could be me. So this is for recovery. It would work in mud too. So I feel good having these even though they take up a lot of space. This is a really cool random hair tie that I just found. I like the colors and stuff. So I'm just keeping it there until I figure out what to do with it. Here I have like a little um, mesh bag that's good for washing delicates or whatever and it's got some carabiners in there. This organization device from Amazon, I love it. Uh, it's got pockets in here, so I have like extra microfiber towels. Right, that's it. And then this is great as a dry shampoo. I will sometimes powder my hair to get the oil out. It works fantastic, especially when your hair is short. And here I've got my sunscreen that I've not been using enough of, which is why I'm all sunburnt. I've got my air horn for, you know, scaring away bears and mountain lions and stuff. And then I've got this really cool multi-tool kit thingy that I haven't used yet, but it's like got an ax on it and screwdriver and I'm not gonna show you that whole thing. It's too complicated, but yeah, that's really cool. This is many things. First of all, this bucket is collapsible, which I love. It sits on the top of all of this stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. And so it kind of becomes a little bit of a random, oh, I just need to throw something in here. Right now it's got this towel, which I use for everything. I threw my coffee mug in there. Um, the bowls, the bowls typically live here and I don't need two. I don't know why I have two. One would be fine. And I have this extra Ziploc thing, which one would be fine. I'm using, I'm using the other one. This, okay, ladies, this is my bathroom right here in this bag. Now, I have thought about getting a fancy toilet that you can like, you know, whatever, unfurl and use. But basically, I've got toilet paper, okay? And then I've got this bag of used toilet paper. Okay, don't worry, there's nothing brown in there. Oh, but there is a little something you shouldn't see. Anyway, this is if I have to go in the woods. And really the only time I ever have to go in the woods is in the morning when I get up and in the evening when I go to bed. And then that tissue, that used tissue, uh, it's sealed up for smells. It totally, there's no smell in my car because of it. And I just throw it in the regular trash when I'm ready to dump that. And it's just not been a big deal at all, honestly. Now this is my cat hole digger. This is in case I ever have to take a poo in the woods. You dig a six inch hole, so that's six inches. You poop, you bury it, you take your dirty paper out with you and you put it in your little baggie and seal it and you take it to the dump. You do not leave it in the woods, okay? I have not had to poop in the woods yet. I'm really lucky. I only go poo every few days, especially when I travel. So that's like such a blessing in this kind of a situation. And maybe that's TMI, but that's car life. So yeah. All right, let's move down to this area. This here is my kitchen. Um, these are my leftover homemade chips. Uh, this is just, you know, dry foods. It's my oil, bacon bits, pistachios, crackers, these storage bags. You just got to have storage bags. You're just going to be using them all the time. My coffee is in here and I know it's Rayleigh's flavored coffee. So all you coffee snobs out there are going, oh my God. Oh, and it's ground too. So I'm sure you're all like, oh my God, you drink that crap. Actually, it's really good. I've been into flavored coffees and it's easy. I know I could be grinding my own coffee, but I don't have to. So I don't. This is my stove here. And I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. This is another must have. Little cutting board. This is my camping kit um, in my last video or one of my videos, I actually pull this all apart. It nests, there's two cups, two plates, they're doll sized. My little kettle for boiling water, a little frying pan and a little pot and lid. This is another must have. These are my Clorox uh, lemon wipes. I do not notice an aftertaste on those, so. In a pinch, I will use those to wipe off a dish to clean it, and it works great. This is my everything soap. It's Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Lavender Castile Soap. 
basically I can use this for everything from washing my clothes to washing my hair to washing my dishes. That's the only soap I need. It's concentrated so you add water to it and it works great. I have a lot of dish towels, probably too many, but you just never know when you need them. So I've got two dish towels here and a little washcloth here. And then in here I have a measuring cup. I'm not going to pull it out because it's too hard, but there's a, a plastic measuring cup in here. And this is where I keep all my utensils, my little spatula, my, you know, I have some these are tongs, these are scissors, this is a steak knife. I do have a lid that I can use to cover a can if I need to cover a can. Bag clips and oh and then I have like my little fire starter stuff and some more bag clips in here. Wooden spoon because everyone's got to have a wooden spoon. I mean I love this thing. It's my favorite little spoon. I don't know why. I just love it. And then in the back this is the deep storage here and we don't access them very much so I'll pull this out. I keep this on top. This is sort of a uh, soft goods that I just grab in a pinch, but not too often. So my fuzzy pullover sweater when I need it, my puffy jacket when I need it, another sweater when I need it, my rain jacket's under there. I've not used that yet. So that just sort of lives on top. And this shelf, I debated whether or not to keep it or get rid of it. And I love it. I use it all the time, just like I did now. So deep storage, let me see what I can show you here. Let's see, paper towel, Windex, first aid kit is back behind here. Oh, I've got a rope in case I need to tow something. This is my emergency pee bottle. So if I were somewhere where I couldn't get out of my car and I had to pee, there's a funnel and a bottle and you could pee right in there. I know it's gross. Haven't used it yet, but uh, it's when you need it, you need it and it's great to have. Oh, right. I've got some Sawyer water bags in there and a filter, a Sawyer filter in case I'm somewhere where I need to pull water from a creek and filter it. I have this emergency blanket that's really cool. Haven't had to use it yet. And then underneath it, you can't really see it. It's black. It's a hammock, which I actually haven't pulled out yet, tragically. And then this stuff behind it, uh, that's my wardrobe. I love these soft baskets. I got them from Target. And they're great because you can just shove them in and they're flexible. You know, you can just uh, push them in as deep as you need. It's great. This here for now. These homemade chips that I got in Wenatchee, I'm just kind of throwing them on top so they don't get crushed. This right here is just shelf liner that I put over the top of the shelf here just to keep it from getting ruined because I do want to sell this car probably in the near future. And then this is a silicone baking sheet that I got off of Amazon and it's just an added layer of protection in terms of heat when I'm cooking on this surface. There's plenty of ventilation here. It's totally safe. So this shelf has been fantastic and I'm glad I kept it. I do have enough room in here for my legs and to turn over comfortably. I don't bump into it too much. I mean, maybe a little, but you know, it's, it's not a big deal at all. So I got these screens off of Amazon and they let you pull down the windows a bit for some air and they keep the bugs out. They're fantastic. They are a must have. Okay. So in the door, I have a sarong, which is incredibly useful for so many things. It can be a dress, it can be a scarf, it can be a towel, it can be a screen between the driver and the passenger area. And then I have these N95 masks with uh, filters and it's because of forest fires. In case I'm in a place where there's a forest fire and I can't get away from the smoke, those are incredibly important. Oh yeah, in the back, I've got a book stored under the platform here that I haven't read yet. And this is the mattress folded back, the covers are shoved in there, pillows are all neatly stacked, the blankets and all of that. Okay, so my Jackery solar panel is here. This thing is awesome. Love, love, love it. I mean, I can sit out in the sun and draw more power in than I'm pulling out on my computer, so it's fantastic. This is the Jackery case. I haven't used it too much, but it's padded and protected so that the Jackery doesn't get too hot. This is my camera bag with all the Canon accessories, batteries, lenses. Wireless mics are in there, which I'm gonna have to start using because the Rode mini mic doesn't seem to be working. And then um, my little tripod's off and just stuff here on this shelf. And I try to keep this area neat so that when I'm filming from a driver's seat, which I do a lot, that it doesn't look messy messy. That's my car tour after 
after about two weeks of living in it, I'm sure it'll evolve. But every car is different, and so you're gonna have to make adjustments for whatever your car is if you're thinking about getting out on the road too, which I highly recommend. Next time, we'll head into Sandpoint, Idaho to see friends, but end up in a terrible situation with no place to go when plans fall through. Jackery. Jackery's in the corner for being <laughs> too big. He's in timeout. Don't worry, Jackery. I still love you. Actually, what I really need is a van to fit my Jackery. Okay, I need a van because I am loving this life so far. And I've been watching those van life people. I've seen them on the road. And man, they pull up. They open the doors. They close the doors. They leave. It's so easy. <laughs> they don't have to set up, you know, any of this. If they don't want to, it's great. By the way, my eyes are totally puffy because I just got up and I haven't had coffee yet, so that's what's going on. Here we go.